What's up guys, it's me Sean here with some C Sharp tutorial here today. And today we're going to learn how to create a menu bar inside of your program. So let's get started. So for these tutorials I'm using Visual Studio 2015. So if you don't have any Visual Studios, please go ahead and download 2015 one. So let's get started. So the first thing here we have to do is uh, we have to go into File and new and create a new project so we can work our codes in there and uh, make sure you click this visual C sharp obviously because it's a C sharp tutorial as well and once you do you will see the lot of these uh, opportunities you can use your C sharp to create stuff with but we're going to choose Windows Forms application for Windows applications and we're going to change the name into something that's relevant to what we're trying to do so let's name it something like menu bar that sounds perfect and you can also change the saving directory location by uh, clicking browse and then choose the saving blah blah all the good stuff there and then once you finish just hit OK and what it's going to do is it's going to try to create the project for us so this may take a little while at first but there it is so this is our starting window so how do we know if we're good to start uh, all you need to do is just hit the start button here and see if it actually works so if you hit start what it's going to do is it's going to generate this graphical user interface uh, out to a screen and there it is there's our um, first application but we're not here to see how the application works we're here to see how to put menu bar so what you're going to do is you're going to go to toolbox if you don't see this screen here please go ahead and click toolbox on the left but once you go into your toolbox, what you're going to do is uh, hit this search box here and type in menu and you will see these two. And what we're going to use is we're going to use the second one called menu strip. So go ahead and hit that and then uh, you will see the mouse has this little symbol of menu strip on it. So just go ahead and click to wherever you want to put the menu strip on and there it is there's our menu strip so now what we can do is we can add a text inside of these menu strips so let me increase the size of this window here a little bit and go back to our menu and let's name this something like file and let's name this something like about and you can do pretty much anything uh, etc I don't know but anyway uh, and when user click file they will have a bunch of drop-down boxes just like this one if I hit files I see a bunch of drop-down boxes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit file and then my first one might be something like open for opening the file maybe and the second one could be something like new and the third one could be something like exit or quit and about section I usually put credit so like credit to your uh, program that you created and ETC let's do something like hi my name <laughs> is Sean so as you can see I can put bunch of a recursive structure inside of menu too so if you do that people can actually click this and then go all that so now since we changed all the names so that they're all in there how about we test this out so go ahead and click start and if you hit start there is our window and if you hit file here you'll see a bunch of drop-down uh, options you can do and about it has credit in it 
and etc it has my name is Sean and all that good stuff so obviously the buttons don't work because we didn't code anything there but you can actually code for all these buttons so it actually does a event when user clicks them so probably next tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to add a events to these buttons so stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial thanks for watching if you guys have any questions please leave questions on the comment below and I'll see you guys in the next one thanks